I want to ask you about federalism because mm -hmm. a lot of conservatives, you say restrain foreign policy, restrain spending. I think that's good sound right. definitional conservatism. Who makes big decisions? You said in your book rather toughly, the government should stay on the boardroom, stay on the bedroom. Well, let's bring down the cases, okay? Mm -hmm. Who should have decided the 2000 presidential election, the federal government, the Supreme Court, or the Florida? government who should have decided that that's a federalism issue who should have decided I mean, that the is, federal government as it did or should have been left to florida your state federalism I mean, issue I mean, that's, uh, that is a federalism issue it's also a well, court where do you issue. come down well i think that's up to the supreme court well where would you have come down if you'd been a you're a federalist you say states should make these decisions i'll run through a number of issues the shivo case should have right. that have stayed at the state level it should abortion be decided at the state Shivo level? Shivo should have stayed at the state level. Um, abortion rights, abortion, should that be at the local or state rights, level or not? Uh, abortion uh, should, should stay at the state level. Gay marriage should stay at the state level. And this is the argument I'm Okay, once here. you get to that state level, I don't want you to dodge the issue. I'm not. As, no, because this is a tough question. As a conservative, the principle of subsidiarity, which is right. to keep it at the local as level as possible. Right. But once you get to that local level, mm -hmm. where are you? Are you for outlawing abortion if you get the vote in the state? Well, that's, that's my vote. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Let me tell no, you. No, no, no. That's no. your vote. I'm asking. No, 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 are, no. You, are you? Is it conservative? I, I, out of the bedroom or in the bedroom? Here's the, here's the deal. You I, said it, you're I out of the bedroom. Am in, I am in Florida. I am pro-life. I would also vote. But you said you want to keep but, but, government well, but, out of the bedroom. But, it's in the book. But but hold on. A, hold on though. I'm talking about the federal government here. This isn't. Is this a discussion about federalism? My views. My personal views, and this is, this is no. going to offend people on the right and the left, but my personal views on gay marriage, on abortion, on all of these other issues really shouldn't matter if I'm talking about the federal government. What I'm saying is this. It's a very simple message. If we want, and you're going to talk about General Motors, if we conservatives say we don't want the federal government involved in General Motors, we don't want the federal government involved in banks, we don't want the federal government involved in Wall Street, we don't want the federal government involved nationalizing health care, how do we turn around and say, hey, let's ban abortion nationwide? Hey, why don't we ban gay marriage nationwide? I'm talking about a constitutional consi uh, consistency. And again, this will sound shocking to a lot of conservatives, but... In Washington, D.C., on the federal level, guess what? I think we should be agnostic on those social issues. Let me ask you, what, to, and, and I'll tell you, I, and you, 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 you read the story in the book. I'm still trying to figure out what two gay guys doing in Vermont have to do with my marriage in Florida. And I said at a town hall meeting. What I said, about two gay guys I, in Florida? Uh, well, that's a little bit closer. Now, how about just what I, I, I don't understand? A second, is a I'm going to let, 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 let me explain this first. I just okay? Know what you is. want to bring it to a state level, uh, but but well, that's where my, we live. My question is this: We live in is, states. Why is it that everybody wants to nationalize every issue? I'm no. saying leave it up to the individual okay, states. Okay. And I said this, I've said okay. this before. What do two guys in Des Moines have to do with okay, me Okay, let me in ask Florida? you, a 22-year-old trying to decide what political party to join. Right. They feel they're libertarian. Mm -hmm. They are libertarian. Most are. Uh, but I mean, should they, a, should, should they, be, should they be, feel okay. safe in the Republican Party if the Republican Party supports a state decision to outlaw abortion? If they support a state decision to outlaw gay marriage? Well, should they feel comfortable in that party as conservatives? I mean, if it gets involved in that part of our lives? That's up to them. I, again, what I'm looking what at Think. What, I'm, what I'm looking at in this book is, sure. I'll tell you right now, okay. if I'm a 22-year-old and I'm a libertarian, I'm scared of both parties. And I'm scared of both parties because they, when they get in power, what do they both do? At least over the past 10 years, they grow the federal government. Right, okay. I'm just trying to find out, Joe Scarborough, in Scarborough country, right. is abortion legal or not? Well, that's in Scarborough up, country. That's up to the individual no, states. No, in your individual case. Are you for or against it? Abortion? Outlaw should be outlawed. Well, I, again, that's up to me. Okay, well, you're about, it's up to you. No, it's up to you here. You're in the voting booth. You're in a public. I said if you're running for president. I right. started off this thing. And, and, if and you're running for president, you've got to tell us your views. Here's the deal. I'll make a deal for you. I just if, want your views. If I run for Senate or president You'll anytime, tell us your views. I will tell you what I'm telling you right now. If I decide <laughs> to run for governor in Florida, then I will tell you if I'm going to ban gay marriage or if I'm going to ban abortion. But until then. Why should I? Well, because you wrote a book, and I'm I saying you could be president a, tomorrow. You know Just, this, this, Chris this, Buckley you said you could be president, you and notice. you won't tell give us where that, you stand on the hottest. I'm on. not giving it to you. Okay, okay, okay you, go ahead. Okay, you see this book? These <laughs> columns right here, these are columns in Washington, D.C., and not Tallahassee, okay, Florida. Okay. okay, what page does it tell me I, your positions on these issues we've been talking about? Well, I mean, I, I'm, same sex I, marriage. I say, I say very clearly, I'm pro-life. Okay, where are you on same I, sex? I say, I say very clearly, I... You would I, outlaw abortion in the state of Florida, for example. 
No, you're obsessed with Florida. I'm asking because that's where you're from, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> I'm talking on the national level, Chris. Where do you vote? Where do you vote, Joe? We need to get Where the, do you vote, we Joe? We need to get the next governor of the state of Florida to come here and talk <laughs> I look, to you. Look, I Again, think you're going to be a listen, senator for you're missing, someday. You're, no, no, no. This is, an, this is a very important point to make, okay. okay? Right. A very important point to make. When I was in Congress, I voted pro-life. Right. I voted for the Defense of Marriage Act, despite, At its, the federal stupid, level. despite its stupid name. But the Defense of Marriage Act said basically my position. Let Vermont decide what Vermont wants to do. Let Florida decide what right. Florida wants to do. Again, I'm not getting into it because, again, I think the reason why Republicans are losing in New England, I think the reason why Republicans are disconnected from chunks of great chunks of the, of the country is because we've been talking about social issues. How right. are you for a smaller government? And the message that's getting out is you want to ban abortions or that you want to stop people from being right. married if people in Vermont or California or Massachusetts want to get married. More and more Americans are becoming libertarian. And what you're going to find but is... But a libertarian would be pro-choice and for same-sex marriage. Uh, would, That's the conflict in your party wait, wait, between this wait, arbitrary notion of what's moral and what's not moral and the freedom again, of individuals again, Chris, to make those you, decisions. You keep going back to that. What I'm saying is that the federal government needs to be guided whenever practical. It doesn't right. always work by the Tenth Amendment, which says if it's not the Constitution, leave it to the states okay. and leave it to the states people. States' rights. And again, we've been talking now for about four minutes about abortion and gay marriage. You know, No, the definition of a conservative yeah, but, but is the, what we're trying but, to get but, to. But the thing is, though, Chris, I'm in Washington. Washington, D.C., and when I was in Washington, I probably cast thousands of votes. Maybe 0.002% of those votes had to do with abortion and, and gay marriage. Very, yeah. very few of them did. And yet, that that's what everybody seemed to be obsessed you with. You know how I get obsessed I, with this you issue? Know what, because in this book, it right. says the government should stay out of the boardroom and stay out of the bedroom. It, yeah. That's, it's what, that's what got me caught book. up on this. Right. Well, and I agree, the federal government should do that. Let okay. the states decide. Okay. And again, what I believe personally on this issue for Washington, D.C., just doesn't matter. It really, and again, I'm not dodging the issue. You can look. I was 100% pro life yeah. ratings. I, was, I, uh, I voted for the Defense of Marriage Act, all these other issues. But what I'm saying in this book is Republicans, it's a great book. we've got to get. You know what I like that. about this book? It raises well. all the hot issues like this one we're talking about. What is a libertarian? <laughs> what is a true yeah. conservative? You started off this discussion. I want to recap for you. Okay. So I'll let you do it. Restraint in foreign policy, right. real limitations of what we could do, a true realism about fiscal potential of this government, right. not overspending, not overextending. That's what a true Edwin, Edmund Burke and sort of is. in Chapter 5, Social Conservatism in the 21st Century, not, okay, we gotta go. oh, not obsessing over social the book issues. Is called, That's not how Republicans he will not obsess, win. Nor even reveal these positions. Well, anyway, the I last reveal. best hope, okay. restoring <laughs> conservatism and America's promise, a beautiful jacket. Uh, covering a book that, according to Christopher Buckley, one of the most literate people of our time, is a true face of the Republican Party.